Okay, so here we are, and we are in the Organic Recommendations tab. Nothing has been edited or changed yet. So now we are simply going to change a few things around. All I'm going to do is click into column E here, and I'm going to cut, and I'm going to paste that right beside the average monthly searches because this is what's most important to us now. And obviously, these should all, uh, where you see that it's blank here, all of these should have numbers beside them. As we talked about in the last video, if Longtail Pro didn't go ahead and gather these, we would want to click and calculate all of these scores so that we have that. I didn't do that this time because it does take Longtail Pro a little bit of time to go ahead and calculate all those scores, and I didn't want to wait around. So uh, just for your knowledge, all of these should have numbers in here. Now with that being said, since these don't have numbers, just for ease of use, I'm going to go ahead and delete these so that it doesn't confuse us. So now we are left with everything that does have a score, and let's begin sorting from there. Now, in this organic keyword competition tab, we could just go ahead and delete this AdWords information to, to make things really nice and easy to read, and we don't really need that here because this is all about the organic competition. So now that we have that out of the way, we can start breaking down what some of these terms, uh, what some good terms might be. So here, this is like super low hanging fruit, right? Anything that's under a 20 KC is, or a 20 organic competition is really easy to rank for. So even though these don't get a ton of searches, we would still want to go ahead and, and choose what's profitable out of here, like email communication training. That's good. Training is always a great keyword to have. Autoresponders for email sell or Amazon sellers. That's a great one. Or autoresponder copywriter. That's another good one. Um, let's see here. Amazon autoresponder. Now, if you are in any of these places like Dubai, India, Sri Lanka, you know, Kenya, any of these places here, like these are these are profitable low hanging fruit for you if you're in the email marketing niche, right? So just wanted to point that out. If you have like a local email marketing business, then these would be some low hanging fruit keywords for you. Let's see, autoresponder affiliate programs. Yeah, that would be a good blog post. Autoresponder price comparison, maybe. If you wanted to go ahead and uh, pr do like some comparison blogs, blog posts, autoresponder copy, email marketing virtual assistant, maybe, email marketing productivity training, sure. Autoresponder Alchemy. I like that. That could be a nice product name, and I'm sure that's probably already a product name, but you can always rebrand these things. Autoresponder Comparison. That's pretty good. Autoresponder Advantage. That could be another kind of product name. Autoresponder Newsletter. Email marketing versus cold calling. That's a really good one. Autoresponder deliverability. That's a good blog term. Um, Autoresponder boot camp. That's a really good one. Good product name. Email marketing Toronto. <laughs> That's a, you know, you got, you got lots of local keywords mixed in here. Email marketing conferences, 2018, that's a good blog term. Email marketing digital agency. Email marketing to seniors, if you were gonna be touching on that, that's a great one. Email marketing versus spam, that's another good blog term. Email marketing portfolio, sure. 
why email marketing is so important. That's a really good one. Autoresponder writer. Autoresponder email template. Targeted email advertising. Email marketing 3.0, that could be a, a blog, or I'm sorry, a product name. Autoresponder and newsletter, yeah, maybe. Email marketing on Fiverr, nice. Email marketing interview questions and answers. Autoresponder subject line. Autoresponder with landing page, cheapest email marketing service. I probably wouldn't go for cheapest keywords because again, you're gonna be looking for those people that always are looking for the cheapest thing. So as a business, I probably wouldn't go after those terms. Email marketing like MailChimp. Advantages and disadvantages of email marketing. Autoresponder magic, that would be another good product name, which I'm sure already is. Unlimited subscribers email marketing eh, is kind of a weird term, but you may be able to use it in some image optimization or something like that. Autoresponder email series writing system, possibly kind of a long, weird one, but we could bend it in there to make it work somehow. Which autoresponder is best? Autoresponder series templates. See, when you see the word like templates, which you will see a lot, think of lead magnets or a way to get people to subscribe to your email list you know giving them something for free like these templates you could be giving away for free in return for their email so that's what I always think of when when I see the term templates there why email marketing is king how much does email marketing cost you could do email marketing server um, why email marketing doesn't work well it does but <laughs> that would be another good blog post right because you know those negative negative terms or phrases can sometimes make people go well what why doesn't it work I want to know why and then it'll make people click in and read more email marketing niches email marketing for authors Autoresponder analytics, landing page autoresponder. So there's a lot here. And we're not even in the hundreds yet, right? Like this is just in the tens and hundreds right now. Pros and cons of email marketing, that's a good one. Newsletter versus email marketing. Email marketing manager responsibilities. A lot of these are some some pretty good ones, right? Now we're starting to get in the higher the higher competition now oh one more thing before we get too far I know that we are sorted by monthly searches right now let's actually go ahead because I should have done this first but let's resort based on organic keyword competition and that's going to change some things around for us yes we're gonna get some zeros in here but that's okay we can just simply skip over those now let's scroll down integrated marketing agency that's a pretty good one email marketing conferences 2017 well 2017 is coming to a close so we probably wouldn't want to go and try and rank for that keyword now let's see sports marketing companies hmm that's an interesting one not very targeted to what we're looking for though email list generator uh, possibly that could be a good blog term to get some traffic email list brokers yeah if you want to go ahead and touch on that autoresponder madness <laughs> that would be a good product name okay let's go ahead yeah importance of email marketing Ooh, that's a good one Marketing solutions, eh, kind of vague. Mortgage marketing, nope, not what we're looking for.
social marketing agency if that's what you were doing that would be good web marketing agency also good if that's what you're into sports marketing agencies internet marketing consultant that's a pretty good one free auto respond to like a Weber pretty good but again we're getting into these higher terms so we want to be really choosy down here with what we decide to um, select for keywords so we want to stay probably more in these higher searches new network marketing companies marketing concept hmm no email marketing ninja that would be a good product name it's pretty good email marketing versus SEO you know some of these um, are good but again they're not getting a ton of searches full service marketing agency email list rental yeah that's a good one for you know a blog topic Okay. So again, if we weren't finding a ton of things down here, right? Although here we might be. So email marketing firms, email marketing agency, that would be a good one if you're a company. Free autoresponder. E-commerce email marketing. Remote email marketing jobs. That one would be all right, you know, to touch on as like a blog topic or something, or if you had uh, your own company that you were hiring. Manager, email marketing, email marketing KPIs. Okay, targeted email marketing, that's a good one. Best email marketing examples, that's pretty good. Affiliate email marketing, that's good. Benefits of, another good one. Okay, so we're kind of starting to come to the end here. A little bit more so. Is email marketing dead? Great one. Purchase email list, um, again, I, that's not something that I actually recommend doing as a practice, but since a lot of people research it, it could potentially be a good blog post topic. You got mass email list, newsletter marketing, business email lists, targeted email lists, real estate email marketing if that's what you're going to be covering email marketing manager email marketing conversion rate so here's a lot of good terms here uh, Emma email marketing if you use Emma the, the software social media marketing courses internet marketing services email marketing design free email marketing tools Email campaign examples, email marketing analytics and training, email marketing ROI, video email marketing, email marketing trends, freelance email marketing. Okay, so we're really starting to get to the end here. I usually don't like to go beyond 40 KC because it really starts to get difficult. Email marketing specialist, I like that one. Email leads, I like that as well. 
mass email software yeah because i know a lot of people touch on that and want to know more about it email marketing content email marketing lists how to write an email Okay, now this will be the last one that we do because I'm going to stop it here at 40. So let's see here. We have contact email marketing, email training. I like that. Opt-in email marketing. I like that one. Um, great email. Uh, it's very vague. Email newsletter design, email marketing leads, email marketing optimization free email marketing software, eh, maybe, but it's very high competition to have a free term. All right, so with that being said, we are done here. Now, there's a ton more, right? Like, this goes all the way to in the 60s which is pretty high competition yeah so we're not going to worry about that <clears throat> so let's come back here where's our 40s at there we go simply highlight all of this and i'm like i said not doing that the smart way the smart way is to highlight this bottom line control shift control up oops Control shift up, highlight all that, sort by column D, which is the X's. And now we have all of our recommended terms here at the top. And how many terms did we find? Ah, almost 100. So that's very, very good for our first round of sorting. From here, you would go ahead and keep sorting based on what you wanted to be your, your focus keywords, right? So let's just do that together quickly. I'm going to go ahead and skip anything that has like low search volume. So just come here and get your list of the, the 90, 95 keywords that we had here. I'm gonna search by Sort by the search volume and mon monthly searches. There we go. So I'm going to skip all these up here and then we're going to go straight down here because these, we want to make sure that our focus keywords are worth it, right? And there we go. So let's just start here. Now, this is low hanging fruit still, but none of these are really that great of terms that I that I want to go after. Now this one, autoresponder badness, that might be a great one to make a course name after and name my product name that and then, you know, go ahead and launch and do some blog posts around that. That could be viable potentially. So we'll just go ahead and annex that one. Importance of email, also great as a core blog post. Email marketing agency, yes, if you were an actual email marketing company, that would be a great term to go after, not too high of competition. E-commerce email marketing, I like that one. Let's see, um, targeted email marketing, I like that. Affiliate email marketing, I also like that one. Benefits, like that. It's email marketing dead, like that one. business email list now hmm here's where i need to start picking and choosing a little bit more carefully because we're starting to get into this higher competition so i really want to make sure that whatever terms i'm selecting here i really want to rank for i like email marketing consultant i'm going to go after that email marketing design i do like that term but i i think i'll i'll hold off and digital marketing training slipped in there somehow i actually don't 
don't care about that. So I'm going to delete that. Email marketing, ROI. I like email leads. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try for that one. I also like email marketing leads too. And I also like how to write email and email training. Now, I know I picked some higher terms here. But these are also things that I'm going to be touching on again and again. So let's go ahead and see. Now, these, again, these are for our focus keywords. So like our website content and things that we want to optimize our pages for. Go ahead and sort again by the X's. Perfect. 12 terms. I like to aim for 10 to 10 to 20. So these would be considered our, our focus keywords for the most part. If I wasn't super duper happy with all of this, I would probably go back and do another round of research until maybe I found some more long tail terms that I liked better. But for now, let's just say that, that we're happy with these. From here, everything that's left is going to make really great secondary and tertiary keywords for us. So since we still have a lot of terms here, we could go through and now decide, okay, what are some of these secondary terms that we would like to use quite often within our content? I like email communication training, but I think I'm just going to save that as a blog post since this is so such low hanging fruit. Basically anything that's a 25 or below, we can consider this all to be blog post material. So I'm just going to skip those for now and let's let's focus on these higher competition terms. And now let's look at some of these things that are going to make us some more money, right? Like that's going to be more profitable. Newsletter marketing could be one of those things. You know, people could potentially be paying for services for that. Email marketing manager, that would be good. Email marketing conversion rate. Email marketing ROI. Again, anything where you're proving where money can be made, that's usually a good, a good keyword to go after if you're in the digital marketing industry. Freelance email marketing, maybe if you if you're gonna go into that. Email newsletter design, possibly. Email marketing optimization. Yeah. Best practices. Opt-in email marketing. That's that's an okay one too. I like targeted email lists as well and maybe business email lists. And then from there, these aren't getting too many searches. I do like this one. Okay, so here we got our, our secondary keywords, right? So we gathered about 13 of those. That's, that's pretty good. I like to call these supporting 
supporting keywords. And then anything that's left over, I like to just name other keyword ideas because they can always, you know, whether it's it's you that's going to be using them or your clients, you, you can always come back here and pick from these to use in other pieces of your content or to make a blog post around or whatever. So that is how I like to sort my organic keyword competition and how I like to break it down. This would be recommended keyword uh, recommended website of uh, recommended focus keywords and then supporting keywords I'd actually like to put these put the blogs underneath So just like that, recommended focus keywords, supporting keywords, your first blog post keywords, and how many we have like, yeah, 17. You could uh, pick some more if you wanted to, like autoresponder email template, that'd be a good one. It's just making an even 20, right? Um, So there we go. There we have 20 good blog post ideas to start with that have pretty low competition overall. We have some supporting keywords that we can mix in and use throughout our content and web pages. Like I said, if you if you were not happy with uh, everything here, then you can always still choose from these larger keyword terms the larger competition terms down here. If you also wanted to make note of some of these these terms to use in your content, for example, maybe you wanted to use, you know, email campaign templates or just the keyword phrase email marketing. Of course, you're going to be able to use those. You just probably won't be able to rank for them. So you can use whatever terms you'd like. Inside your, you can make a whole nother list of other, you know, higher keyword terms that you want to still use. So however you want to do that. But this is how I like to sort it out. This is how I like to organize it. And it makes it very easy and usable for ourselves when we're creating content and for our clients as well. So that is how you sort organic research.